everybody, welcome to Tamla's Fool at Art. Well, I have a surprise. I mixed up paints just two seconds ago. All right, I put it right up to this line. It's like uh, about a little bit over half an inch. Okay, I don't know whether you can tell that. Put a hold on the blue. But it's like right there. I just ballparked it. I didn't even, you know, and then I took some Liquitex um, high gloss varnish. I'll show you that. It's this thing here. Yeah, high gloss varnish by Liquitex. And I just threw a drop in each one, like about maybe half a teaspoon in each one. So I said, well, I'm not, I have, this is all Liquitex Basics paints. Haven't tried doing anything different with that except doing pours and stuff like that. So I figured, well, let me practice. Well, I practiced on one of my silicone little 4x4s. And um, it's sitting over there drying. But I figure I'll show you on some ornaments since it's little. And that's why I like the ornaments. Because they, they come out good. You can use them at Christmas time. I mean, why not? Okay. And I ordered more base coat. So that is really good. Of course, I'm not going to get till like Wednesday. But... I can go before that. Oh, this isn't even a whole container. Oh, well. I'm going to put a blob here. A blob here. And a blob here. See how well I measure? I do I do cooking that way, too. Matter of fact, I, I made up a recipe a while ago called my Sassy Lassies. And, you know, in order to tell somebody how to make it, they have to have measurements. Well, I had a heck of a time trying to figure out the measurements because it <laughs> I don't do measurements. I just, just throw them in. So, same as all my cooking, too. All right. Uh, let me hold this in the t time being. I'm just going to spread this around so you have enough where it'll spread and the paint will go off. This was the easiest because I don't have to wait anything. It can immediately, immediately sells. So it's really weird. I've never seen anything like this. It's Velspar. And what got me concerned is it's white. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. If it's untinted, there should be no color. So that's why I mixed them up. Because one time, the stupid people at these home place, at home... Uh, like supply places, they just assumed you're doing painting and they went ahead and put color in a non-tinted um, container. I said, what are you doing? He said, man, I'm putting white. I said, I didn't ask you to put white. It's supposed to be untinted. Well, you need to have white. And he argued with me. I said, look, I'm doing art. I'm not doing painting. So do what I'm asking, please. And then I called the manager over because he was like, well, I can't be like, argue with me. So finally I called the manager. I said, look, I know what I'm doing. That's all there is to it. So, all right, I'm going to do a little blue. This blue is very thick, though. And I'm hoping it loosens up a little bit, but I'm not positive, but it's really thick. So thicker than my other ones. All right, I'm just going to do the blue one on that one. I've got experiment, guys, you know? Um, that is also cobalt blue. This is alizarin crimson. I'll put one of these down here. Alrighty. And then uh, purple over here. Can you see them all? Whoa. Yeah, you can sort of. Maybe this way. Okay. I'm going to put orange on top of the red because it's not going to turn weird color on me. And I can put yellow on top of the blue. And the violet. I screwed that one up, didn't I? Okay, and then I want to put green. You go, what? Green? Yeah, I just want to put a dash of green in something here. 
Maybe the violet. This is hooker green. Really good name for it, huh? All right. Because it's going over yellow. I don't think these mix too well, so. Um, Got to think what color is going to make something. Because you don't want, you do not want, oh, I put the yellow on top of the orange over here. Because you don't want to have um, colors that are going to make brown. Any opposite color on the color wheel will give you brown. All right, and then this one I'll put mm, all right on top. A Christmassy orange, basically. Not really, but just these are my practice pieces. All right, now I'm going to use my black, same accelerator. I didn't add gold either, but you know. I could have added gold, but it didn't. I didn't do it in the other one either. So, let me wipe my uh, 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 Oh, man. I said, well, I gotta do a quickie before Days of Our Lives. If you know me, you know I love Days of Our Lives. At least I used to. It's really gotten kind of stupid now lately. But, you know, I've been watching it since 1966. It's back before any kind of recording, you know, VHSs, DVRs, or anything like that. And my mom, <laughs> rest her soul, she would, matter of fact, it was when Laura was on doing a trial for somebody that committed murder or some sort of thing. I can't remember what exactly it was, back in 1966. And um, my mom actually sat there and watched it. And then mind you, she didn't even watch it. She, she was not a, a you know, soap fan. She was too busy cleaning house and making dinners, getting us ready for school. So I was like, it, I mean, even though I was old enough for doing that part. And it, oh, I'll be damned. She wrote down everything almost like word for word. She could have been a secretary. All right, let's see how this goes now. Self. Oh. Mm. Sorry, John, I'll be ready in a second. Sorry, honey. All right, let me go this way. Whoa. I'll be easier picking it up, I think. Yep. All right. Can you believe all these beautiful cells? But, of course, the way I mix it is my, my thing here. Notice they're more deeper colors, which I'm loving. Wow. <laughs> I've just tipped it. This green over here is coming out gorgeous. As I'm getting a little toasty here. So now let's compare. 
this part here didn't turn out that great. Uh-oh, I think I stretched it here. Hold on. I actually hit this with my thing here, my straw. This is very thick, you know, um, not translucent as a, at all. This one is gorgeous. Now, I'm going to do what I don't normally do. I'm going to slide it off a little bit. Let's see if it goes over this way, what it's going to look like. And then back. All right. Now this, I will cover any pieces that didn't cover. Just grab some paint on the floor. Uh, well, I mean, um, I'm using my silicone mat. All right, then over here, I definitely got to add some here. Not that I care. These are s samples. Look what I did. I hate when I do stupid things like that. All right, I'm gonna leave it. This here, I'm gonna also try and toss it a little bit. Oops, almost poured it right into that paint, didn't I? Really dark, I love the dark colors, wow. I don't know whether it'd be good for a, look at this, this is just gorgeous. I screwed up the center, but maybe I might be able to dab a little. Yeah, all right. I'll pour a little this way, whoops. I got some white paint over here. Alrighty, I'm gonna nab some of this here. And do over here just in case I like these and want to keep them now for the holes you just blow in let's see I'll be doing it in a second I need more white boom I mean I do have a little thing that I can do I'm not doing the backside this is just a test piece but blow it blow it And there you have it. The hole is going to remain open. And wow, I just can't get over. I can't get over this one. I mean, I would never do an ornament with these colors because it's too, well, it's red, but I probably could have put green. Wow, came out great though, you have to admit. Just for something different, this came out gorgeous. Try and lift that up, not do it too well. Okay, now I'm still waiting to do my varnish on the, um, what do you call it? My cat, my coasters. I keep on saying casters. My coasters. And my coasters um, are looking beautiful. Actually prettier than what they were. And I'll tell you, the pictures yesterday did not even show how absolutely beautiful they are. Let me just wipe my hand and I'm going to show you them because they came out absolutely perfect. Now, I didn't stick the gold on here, but you imagine if I did, you'd have little, you know, gold. And then let me close up these paints because I'm gonna let them sit a little bit and see if they do anything odd or weird or anything like that. You just take your, I got just white paint on me. 
You take your sticks and just hold them against the container. Let them stick. They'll dry. You take them out. You peel them off. And you can reuse them. I don't like to do that, but people can do it. That's what it looks like. See? They can dry and you can reuse them. I don't normally do that. Okay, everything's closed, closed here. Now let me move these out of the way. Out of sight, out of mind. Ugh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Huh? Let me see. Um, I'm just going to move this whole thing right here to there. And this right here. I have my whole cabinet over there. I put them on there, but I have some other things drying. So, this is what I did yesterday. And really, <clears throat> look at the gold. It is just gorgeous. When I tell you gorgeous, it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I love these. These are for me, by the way. You know, I want to do something that would go with my living room. And since I have all the browns, I decided to come up with the, the brown color. And wow, these are beautiful. And then I have also, I'll just stick here. I think I'm going to stick them here so it could totally dry. I mean, they are dry, but I really want them to really be dried. They're not all going to fit. I can't believe it. Well, good enough. All right. Put this over here so I don't get damaged. These were the second ones I did, the blue. And the blue has the silver. But this will pop once they're varnished. Totally will they varnish. The varnish will definitely do it. All right, let me take this off here. There's another one. It's beautiful. I love these. And too bad I don't have blue. I have no blue. So I'll stick one down here and the other one down here too. Uh, the silver isn't as shimmery as the gold. The gold is just spectacular, really. Simply marvelous. The first ones I did, oh, I'm trying to reach them. Boy, is that laziness of what? Look at that, I love the purple and the gold. Gorgeous. I'm gonna try to go like that. Look at that, love it. Anyway, this is a set of, oh, four. Wait a minute, one, two, three, four. I guess, no, I have one more set, wow. I have one more set to do, which is really good. And the last one, here we go. Move this out of the way over here. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, right? All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's and uh, I'll come back. Let me show you the, the ornaments close up, hold on. Okay, this is the first one we did. The red is, wow, that's a lizard crimson. This one here is the green and violet and yellow. Which actually, who wouldn't? Who knew it would come out that pretty? But the cells, love them. And here we go with the lizard and crimson, um, yellow. What other color did I put on there? I can't remember. Oh, orange. You never know. I put orange on here. Kind of disappeared, huh? Oh, with, uh, the yellow, yellow, red, and orange. I thought I put orange. Well, anyway, okay, guys, take it easy.
Thanks for watching. Thank you, new subscribers. You guys are great. I'm slowly approaching 200. I can't wait. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you all. Love you all. Bye-bye.